Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a fun product page template for kids products in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So uh, right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So before we begin, since this is a WooCommerce template design, you need to make sure you install WooCommerce first. And to do that, you want to come over here to plugins, click on add new. And then you want to search for WooCommerce. And as I mentioned, this is absolutely free. So you search for WooCommerce here. So the first result here is WooCommerce. And as you can see here, it says active. That is because I've gone ahead, downloaded it and installed it. So in your case, you want to um, install and activate. And once that's done, you're going to have this entry over here on the left, which says WooCommerce. All right. So. Now let's start working on our product. So I'm going to come over here to products, click on add new. So we need to add a brand new product here. So I'm going to call this product wood letter blocks. And we also need a long description here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some dummy text here from Lorem Ipsum. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the price. And um, let's set this to $12.99 as a regular price but the sale price is going to be $7.99. But of course, you can add whatever price you want in here. Now, the next step is to add our image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I am going to uh, come over here to set product image. So I have an image here that I already have and the dimensions here are 999 by 1000. But of course, I was aiming for 1000 by 1000, but this should be okay. So what looks great here is a rectangle. So you want to make sure the width and height are the same sizes. So now I can click on set product. So now I have my product all set. Okay, so that looks great. The next step now is to uh, add our attributes. Okay, so we're going to come over here to our attributes tab and uh, we're going to start adding all our attributes. So I'm going to click on add. So this one here is going to be material and then the value is going to be natural pine wood. I want to save that. I'm going to add another one. This one here is going to be paint and the value is going to be non-toxic white paint. I'm going to save that. Next, we're going to add another one. In fact, let me save this one more time just to make sure it's all saved. Okay, so I'm going to add another one. Now, this one here is going to be paint colors and then I'm going to enter by values here and then save attributes. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. We've added our short our description. We've added our attributes. We've also added the prices and the image. Now I can publish this. Now let me show you quickly before we go ahead and start working on the template. So now if I view the product, you can see here, this is using our default template that we have. And this doesn't look as exciting. All right, so now we need to create our new template. So to do that, we're going to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. All right, so on Theme Builder here, we are going to click here on this plus button and our template is going to be for all the products that we have on our site. So for us to add our template, I'm just going to scroll down here and look for our products. So you can see here, WooCommerce has been added and that's because we installed the plugin. If the plugin wasn't installed, we would not be able to see the WooCommerce pages, the WooCommerce products and so on. All right, so now let's go ahead and click on all products because this is the template that we need to create, which then applies to all the products that we have. So I'm going to click on create template. Next, I'm going to come over here and click on add custom body, build custom body. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on start building. Now, before I start building anything here, I just need to go to my section settings, click on background and add my background color. So I'm going to add this pink for my background. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post, the show notes below. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and save, click on this plus button to add our columns. And we're going to go with two equal columns. Next, I'm just going to close this and then go into my row settings. Now in here, we're going to go to the design tab, click on sizing, and then activate use custom gutter width. And we are going to set this to two. Now the gutter width is the space between the columns. So we just want to make them a little bit uh, closer to each other. And then next I am going to 
add my width. So right now we're set to 80%. Let's set this to 90%. And then for our maximum width, we're going to do the same and set it to 90%. So pretty much I'm good here. Next, I'm going to come over here to content and we're going to go into our column settings. So I'm going to click here on the first column. And what we're going to do here is to add a background image. So I'm going to come over here to background, click on the third tab, click on this plus button. And the image I'm going to go with is this image right here. And this is going to be the background for our column. Now, if you want to use the exact same image, and by the way, the sizes are 1749 by 1657. If you want to use the exact same image, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. And you can also download the template absolutely free if you want to use this in your own designs. All right, so I'm going to click upload an image. And now you can see our image has been added in the background. The next step now is to work on our padding. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing and for our padding we're going to add 5vw both to the top and the bottom and notice that i've activated this chain now by activating that chain it means that we have equal sizes both for the top and the bottom and if i do make any changes it will affect both sides okay so now that i have this all set i'm going to go back over here go into column two settings. And again, I'm going to go to design spacing. So here we're going to add a top padding of one VW. And then over here for the left and right padding, we're going to set this to two VW. And this needs to be applied to both sides as well. So now that I have all this set, now I can go ahead and save, save one more time. All right. So now that we've added our background to column one, the next step is to add our image. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and the image we're going to add is a woo image. Okay, so I'm going to type in woo and then go to woo images. Now what this does is it allows us to add the image for our product. Okay, so now that I have this all set, the next step now is to click on this drop down, choose our image, and then I'm going to come over here to my elements. So featured image, we're going to leave it on gallery, we're going to say no sales badge, we're going to leave it at yes. So that's fine. Now let's go to the design tab. And here we need to go into the sales badge text. So I'm going to come over here. And uh, first of all, let's work on our font. We're going to change our font here to Nonito and select it. And next we're going to set this to bold. And the text color is going to be this pink. And uh, don't forget, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that we have our size there, you can see our sales text now is showing over here. Next, I'm going to go in and add my size, which is going to be 5VW. Now, you know what I've done here? I added the sales badge color. So I'm just going to get rid of that because all I need is the text itself to be that pink color. Okay. All right, so now that I have my sale badge color and it's all set and the size is all set, the next step now is to go to sizing and add my top and bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here, go to spacing. And here we're going to set this to 1VW. And for the bottom padding, we're going to set this to 0. And let's just set it to 0VW just to keep everything consistent. Okay, so that's looking great. Now we need to add a woo title module to column two. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save now, come over here, click on this plus button and search for woo title. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And you can see here it says uh, product name, but of course you can go in and set it to the right product like that. Or you can just leave it at uh, this product. So what happens then is this is going to apply to any template that you add on there. All right, so that's looking great. So um, the next step now is to uh, give the module a white background. So I'm going to come over here and set my white color. Now let's uh, go in and customize our text by going over here to the design tab. So I am going to now start adding my, uh, start working on the title. So here, as you can see, this is set to heading one. So I'm going to come over here to my text, change this to Nonito. We're going to make this ultra bold. And for the text alignment, we're going to center it. And then next, we're going to add our color. So I'm going to go in and paste my color in here. Right. So now let's set our size for our text. So I'm going to scroll further down. And for my text size, I'm going to set this to 2.6 VW. 
Now over here on the letter spacing, we're going to set this to two pixels. Now let's give this some breathing space by coming over here to spacing. So for our left and right padding, we're going to set this to 2VW. And then for our top and bottom padding, we're going to set this to 1.5VW. So now you can see that our product name here has nice space around it. Okay, so the next step now is to go to our border and we are going to set some rounded corners, which is going to be 1VW on all the sides. Okay, so now that we have 1VW on all the sides, we need to now add a woo description. Okay, so let's go ahead now and save this. And then we're going to come over here and add a new module. I'm going to click on this plus button and search for woo description. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you can see here we have our default text. And like we did before, we're going to go in and add a background color of white. Now let's work on the text. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And we're going to change this to Nunito. We're going to also add our color, which is going to be this gray, this grayish green, I think. And now let's set our size. So for our size, we're going to set this to 1VW. All right. So moving on, we're going to go to our spacing. And here we're going to add a top margin of uh, minus 0 0.5. And we're also going to add a top and bottom padding. Because as we did before, we gave uh, this product name here some breathing space. So we need to do exactly the same here. So for our top and bottom padding, we're going to set this to 1.5. And then for our left and right, we are going to set this to 2VW. And it needs to be on both sides. So now you can see that uh, this looks great. Now the next step we need to do is to add our borders. And in fact, we need to add our rounded corners. So we're going to do this by coming over here to border and I'm going to set this to 1VW. So now we have our rounded corners. All right, so we're going to save this now. Next, we're going to add our Woo additional info. So I'm going to search for it. And there we go. Woo additional info. And it has this uh, additional information here, which we need to go in and customize. All right, so first of all, we're going to come over here, set our background to white. Now let's go to the design tab and go into our font. Set this to Nonito. Next, we're going to add our size. Okay. And uh, we also need to make sure that this is italic. So I'm going to leave it at this icon here, which is great. All right. So now that I have this set, we also need to add our color, which I'm going to do by coming over here and pasting my color like that. Now, as I mentioned before, I know I keep saying this, but it's important that if you want to use the exact same colors and settings, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that we have this all set, the next step now is to come over here to our title text and we're going to change this to the neater as well. So go ahead and select that. And this needs to be ultra bold. So we want this to really stand out. OK, so now that we have this, uh, the color here needs to be this pink which we've been using throughout. And that's the color we have there. And next we need to set our size for our heading. By default, it's set to 26 pixels, but we want this at 1.7 VW. Okay, so on the line height, 1 EM is fine. Now we're gonna go in and set our attributes text, which again, we are going to set to Nonito, just to keep our consistency. And we're going to add our color as well, like that. And uh, we also need to set our sizes. And for the size, I'm just going to scroll down further and add it in here. Okay, so now that we have our size, we have our weight. In fact, you know what? Oh, yes, we have our font weight set to bold. So that's looking great. Now, we need to give this a breathing space, just like what we did before. But before we do that, let's start by adding our top margin. So to do that, we're going to come over here to spacing and add our top margin. And then we are going to set our top and bottom padding. And this is going to be 1.5 VW. And then for the left and right, this is going to be 2 VW. OK, so there we go. We have it on all sides. And just to keep the consistency going, we're also going to add 1 VW as our rounded corner. So I'm going to click here on border and set it over here. Okay, so now we have these three blocks of information. That's looking great. Now we're going to continue adding in even more items. So this time we're going to add our Woo price module. Okay, so let's save this. 
And uh, we're going to come over here, click on this plus button and just search for Woo price. And there we go. I'm going to select it. And as you can see, it shows that price right away. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add a background, which this time is going to be this pink like that. Now let's start adding all our colors. So we are going to start with uh, sale old price text. So let's go in here and uh, we're going to make this unito color is going to be white. And let's go in and add our size, which is 1.5 VW. Now we need this the price, the sale, new price text. So let's go in here. And again, we want to go into Nunito. The weight is bold. The color needs to be white. And this time the size needs to be slightly bigger. And I'm going to set this at 2VW. Now for the letter spacing, I'm going to set this to one pixel. Now, just like what we did before. Now let's work on the spacing. And here we're going to start with a margin of minus 0.5. And then we are going to add a top and bottom padding and also left and right. So this is going to be 1.5 VW. And for the left and right, it's going to be 2 VW. And then we're going to add our rounded corners, which we're going to do by coming over here to border and setting this to 1 VW. So now I'm just going to fix my uh, colors here. So this needs to be aligned over to the right and also the color needs to be white like that all right so pretty much we're almost there i'm going to save this now and exit the visual builder so first i'm going to hit save close out of here save changes now remember what we had this is what we had before we created the template so let's take a look at our product now and see what it looks like so i'm going to come over here to all products and then i'm going to click on view and there we go. So now we have this template that then applies to our product. So every product we add is going to have this design right here. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.